Hi, Paul Slack is Good News Broadcast. I'm speaking to Dr. Kanita Lott. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, and how are you, Paul? Okay, good. Well, I, my, my teeth are in good shape, and uh, since my teeth are in good shape, that's a big part of why I feel good. But uh, we have a, uh, a subject that we're going to talk to uh, the doctor about. Uh, it's called monster mash or monster mouth. Okay, 50% of children will have a cavity or a filling uh, between the ages of 5 to 9. We have Halloween coming up this weekend, and we have a children's Halloween party with Pete Seeger uh, that we would like to invite you to, Dr. Lott. Oh, I'd love to come. All right, here in New York. And uh, we want to, though, talk about, and this is very interesting because not every child really wants to brush their teeth. And uh, Dr. Lott has, I think, some suggestions on ways that uh, can make it uh, a more of a fun experience. Right. The survey actually show, uh, says that 49% of the parents indicate that their children don't brush whether they send them in there or not. Okay. And the other ones give all kinds of excuses, even to the point, point of the dog stole my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they, uh, they don't brush. And so we try very hard to make it fun and easy for the child to brush. And one of the products that we use for that is an anti-cavity rinse. And it is, has a lot of fluoride in it, but it is Listerine Smart Rinse. And the good part about Listerine Smart Rinse is that once you have flossed your teeth and you have brushed, many times our children don't do the best job. So there are particles in Listerine Smart Rinse that act as magnets that attract all of those particles that are left on your teeth. It tints them. And when you spit that out into the sink, you can see the particles. Mm -hmm. And the children think that that is just so ooky and gooey and giggy. You know, it's not something they want to see. And so every day, they try to brush better. So they're using the Listerine Smart Rinse on twice a day basis, and they are trying to reduce the number of particles that they can see. That's a good thing. The parents are reassured that the the children's teeth are even cleaner than if they had just brushed and flossed alone because we're getting rid of the additional particles as well as we're leaving fluoride on the teeth. Now, when someone takes Listerine, as I take myself, um, how long do you keep it in your mouth? How long do you rinse, you know, wash your mouth? Okay, let's make sure we're talking about Listerine Smart Rinse is one that's for children. I understand okay, that, but... The one that you're using is for adults. Okay. Okay, and we will, we do recommend rinsing with the Smart Rinse for one minute. One minute, okay. One full minute, yes. All right, I see it comes in flavors. There's a website here, okay, listerinekids.com. Yes, it comes com. in a mint shield and a berry shield. So if you don't like berries, you use mint. Either one are good, though. I've used both. And of course, it's alcohol-free, it says here. Of course. Which is important. All right. Oh, a ringtone download. So, <laughs> cool website. A lot of good things going on there. Well, let's talk about uh, here. It's like the, I feel like the, like David Letterman or something. Make oral care fun. Number one thing. What do you do? Number one, we as parents brush with our children. Okay. Brush with the children. Wow. Brush at the same time. Yes, we have to be go we have to be mo role models. That's the key to a lot of uh, right. concerns in uh, growing, helping children to grow nicely. Isn't that right. so? Right. And and as we brush, you can say things like Simon said, brush your molars, <laughs> and we're teaching molars. Simon said, brush your mandibular teeth. Uh -huh. That's your lower teeth. Uh -huh. You're teaching at the same time because Ooh, we, the good. parents, are the first teachers anyway. Right. So we just carry that through. But you can also make it fun by using stars and stickers on calendars uh -huh. and counting up how many days they did a very good job and giving a nice uh, surprise at the end of the week. Of course, a non-sugar surprise, okay? Okay. Make sure that, it's, uh, you know, we like to use stickers. We take kids to the movies we to see their, you know, favorite Disney uh, movie or what have you. Mm-hmm. So that makes it fun. But the other thing that makes it fun is another Listerine product called Agent Cool Blue. Mm -hmm. If you use that Agent Cool Blue as a pre-rinse, before you do anything else, it tints your teeth blue. Now the children have a goal to reach. They have to brush until all the blue is gone. Yeah, I've heard about that. So how does that work? 
that works re- very, very well because now the child has their own clues to where they're brushing or not brushing or say they have braces on and it's very difficult to get the toothbrush behind those wires. Hmm. They just keep brushing until the blue is all gone. Once they've gotten that done, then they come back with the Listerine Smart Rinse and take, take away any of the other particles. Like I said, Listerine Smart Rinse works like a magnet that attracts all the particles that are still on the teeth. They tint those particles, and you swish and you spit it out in the sink. Now your parents are assured that your mouth is a whole lot cleaner. Can adults use that blue rinse as well? Sure. That's very okay. good. And, they, and adults can use the Listerine Smart Rinse. Now, adults can use both of these, but children cannot use the adult rinse. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Provide proof here, it says here. Number two. So that's your visual cues? That's the visual cue. It's right there in the sink. And the children can see it, and they, they think it's kind of yucky. <laughs> Parents look at it, and they go, ooh, way to go. All and right. The rest of the particles off. Well, I'm sure there's been, and I've added uh, a dentist or two who said, you know, you're not doing a good enough job in the back of your teeth or, the, you know, certain areas on your teeth, right? Right. We don't do so good, maybe all of us, in, at times, right? Well, we may not, but if you have, if you're using the Listerine Agent Cool Blue, you're right. you have a guide, you have a road map to uh, all of your teeth. I think it's, it's a good and, and the good part about it, too, your parents can look in there and see as well. It's a great thing. Recruit others. This is an interesting. Number three, recruit others. Uh-huh. Uh, how does that work? To ask well, an older sibling? That's <laughs> Right. You know, in my household, uh, when I was growing up, I'll put it that way, I had a lot of older siblings. And I would do quickly what they said do quicker than I do what my parents said do. Don't tell them, please. But I would. <laughs> and it still holds true. So you bring in an older sibling and have them demonstrate and brush at the same time. This should be a family affair. Just like we sit down to eat together, we go to our place of worship together, mm-hmm. we should brush together. Good news. I love it. Okay, and and for further information, we have very detailed information on listerinekids.com. That's www.listerinekids.com. Okay, and the last one it says record healthy behavior. Yes. Gold star? <laughs> Gold star even a red star. You a, know? A red star. Yeah, red and red is good. Always good. This Dr. Lott, you have a lot of good news. What's good news for you, Dr. Lott? Good news for me is to see a child that has no cavities. That's good news. Okay. Well, there's a dollar off coupon on the site as well. So thank you very much, Dr. Lott. Have a a safe and a happy uh, Halloween time. If you're in the New York area, we'd love to see you. Uh, Thank you very much. Take care. Bye now. Bye-bye.